Hi, how are you? Air coolers are economical and eco-friendly alternative to air conditioners. Their price is less than an air conditioner. Before making a purchase, it is important to understand the specifications and other information related to the appliance. We have detail information below that helps to take right decision. How does an air cooler work? Air coolers use evaporation method for providing cool air. For this, continuously water supply is necessary. They contain a reservoir where water is stored. Using a pump, water will be dispersed from reservoir to cooling pad. Outside air is drawn into the cooler and is further guided through the cooling pad. The water or moisture present on the cooling pad absorbs the heat and evaporates. Once the heat is transferred, temperature of the air decreases. Now cool air is dispersed outside using the fan. The continuous process of drawing hot air and dispersing cool main, will bring down the temperature of the room. Types of air coolers. Four different types of air coolers are available and they are tower, room, window and desert. Though their working principle is same, few variations like water capacity differentiate them from one another. Number one is personal or tower air coolers. Personal or tower air coolers are more preferable for places that face humid weather conditions. They are specifically meant to be used in small or specific areas of the room. They are known to consume less energy and are also quieter than desert air coolers. They have smaller water tanks but are capable of providing cooling for hours. It mostly uses blower for cooling. Number two is desert or window air coolers. Desert or window air coolers are mostly used in dry climate regions. They are usually larger than personal air coolers and are designed for cooling large rooms. They use large water tanks and have huge fans that can deliver cool air to the farthest corners of the room. Day or wind out air coolers are more preferable if you want to use them outdoors, for example, on your window, terrace or backyard. It is usually features a fan for cooling. Size of air coolers. The option of selected also depends on cooling coverage area of air cooler. The list in below will show the proper parameter. Air cooler with bigger tank size provides cool air for longer time and requires refills less frequently. You should select a model according to your requirements. The tank size is relative to the real size of the unit so the size should be enough big to store enough water and fulfill the space of the storage. Room and tower air coolers is 15 to 40 liters, desert and window air coolers is 40 to above liters. Please look into this list as shown on screen to choose the right cooler type. Once you have decided on the type of cooler you would want, you need to decide a model which best suits your needs. Here are some of these features. Airflow. Just like an air conditioner, it's important to buy an air cooler that fits the size of your room. Airflow of an air cooler is also measured in terms of CFM, cubic feet per minute. The CFM denotes the amount of air cycled into your room each minute. You can choose the right size for the air cooler by calculating the CFM required for your room. You can calculate the required CFM by dividing the cubic feet of your room by 2. For example, if your room is 300 square feet in size, with the ceiling at a height of 10 feet. Then the CFM required would be 1500, 300 square feet by 10 feet 2. The airflow of an air cooler also depends on whether it uses a blower or a fan. Fans can create airflow with low pressure but in large volumes, they are usually used in big air coolers. Blowers on the other hand, can create high pressure airflow at high volumes, which is why they are used in smaller models. While buying an air cooler, you should also look for models that have multiple speed settings. This lets you control the airflow, thereby controlling the temperature in the room. Most air coolers sport a three-speed regulator at the least. You can also look for an air cooler with automatic louver movement, which ensures the flow of cool air in all directions. This feature is especially important for desert air coolers that are used in large rooms. Cooling pads. Cooling pads have a direct impact on the cooling of an air cooler. They absorb water and allow air to flow through them to cool it. Thicker the cooling pad, the better the cooling. Cooling pads are generally made of aspen or cellulose material. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. Aspen pads are made of wood shavings and synthetic fiber. They are cheaper, need high maintenance and have a shorter life. Cellulose cooling pads are also known as honeycomb pads, mostly because they look like a honeycomb. They are thicker in comparison to aspen pads and have low maintenance and a higher life. They cost a little more but are also known to be more efficient. 
Design One of the major reasons why people don't prefer buying air coolers is because they take up space and don't go well with the aesthetics of the room. These days, manufacturers have models with sleek and stylish designs. Tower air coolers are currently one of the most trending variants in the market. They take up less floor space but are still powerful enough to be used in big rooms. If you plan on using your air cooler in different rooms, then it's better to get an air cooler with caster wheels. This makes it easy to move the air cooler around the house. Some air coolers also come with the option of attachable wheels. Air coolers that work on inverters. Air coolers are already known for their low energy consumption. Some manufacturers today have added to that feature by introducing air coolers that can even work on inverters. These air coolers consume up to 50% less power than a standard air cooler. They are the best option for you if your home faces constant power cuts. Remote control function. For quick access to settings, look for an air cooler that comes with a remote. Remotes for air coolers will let you control the speed of the fan so you don't have to get up over and over again to change the settings. Power consumption. Before you buy the cooler check the power usage, the lower the watts mentioned the lesser the power it will consume. Anything between 160W to 220W is good. On the product description and sides of the cooler you can check the power usage. Water level indicator. This feature indicates the water level present in the air cooler. It helps the user identify when the water runs out or is about to run out in the unit. In some air coolers, this feature is available in manual option. While filling the water tank, you can utilize the same to make sure you don't overfill it. Empty tank alarm. Air cooler requires at least basic water level to stay operational. This alarm will indicate the user by making beep noise that water levels have decreased to basic level. This helps the user to refill the water tank before it completely runs out of water. If the water levels are not refilled in time or if air works without water, then motor can get damaged. This feature is present only in high-end models. Pad thickness. Water absorbed by the cooling pad has direct impact on air cooling. So, basic thumb rule to consider while analyzing this feature is, thicker the pad, cooler will be air production. Ideal thickness level is considered as 90 mm. Ice cube tray. Few coolers come with the facility of ice tray. You can keep the ice tray on the top shelf of the cooler, as the ice melts it mixes with the water tank and helps in cooling the temperature of water in few degrees. Brand. It is always good to choose a well-known brand than local made and also check out the warranty. The well-known brand always gives you good service, assist you better and they will come to house and fix it. Air coolers that are listed here are all well-recognized brands, you can make a purchase without any worry. Warranty. Manufacturers provide a year warranty generally as few other manufacturers may provide a longer period of warranty. Choose the model that have longer period, so you will be having protected and safeguarded after your purchase. Conclusion There you have it, a brief buying guide that will help you select the right air cooler for your home. Before you go out looking for models, be clear about the type of air cooler you want, based on the climatic conditions in your area. Also, select the right water tank capacity that offers optimum cooling without taking up a lot of space. Additional features like remote control and caster wheels can increase your price, but if you are willing to spend a bit more, it will be worthwhile. So please watch my other video to know more about best cooler in present market. Please subscribe, like and share my channel to all of your friends and family. With this I am signing off. Thank you.